This is Food Poker, the show that inspires you to try new combinations in the kitchen. Our chefs could be dealt almost anything. Lamb and mint? That's lovely. Lamb and mackerel? Maybe not so tempting. Can they convert their cards into a delicious dish and convince the Food Poker panel with their culinary masterpieces? That's the challenge. Now let's meet our chefs. Our first contender today is Martin Blumnos, whose magical meals have earned him not one, but two Michelin stars. Next up is the Italian cookery supremo, Theo Randall. So let's hope he's dealt some glorious sunny Mediterranean ingredients. Hoping to give the boys a run for their money is respected food writer and passionate cook, Cloda McKenna. And finally, it's the Kiwi king of fusion food, Peter Gordon. What weird and wonderful combinations will he create for us today? Four very different chefs, all at the top of their game and ready to do battle in today's food poker. Our chefs are eagerly waiting to be dealt their first hand. Will it be a case of meal or no meal? There are three rounds, a savoury, a sweet and a showcase final where the two winning chefs go head to head. The decision on who gets to cook rests with our food poker panel. Seven food lovers who really know their onions. Let's play food poker. So, panel, please vote now. As Martin's folded, will the poker panel go for Theo's fusion of pan-fried tofu and rock four? Clodagh's carpaccio of raw tuna with lemon and chili marinade and julienne courgettes? Or will it be Peter's new wave sea bass sushi with a dill and watercress dressing? The moment of truth, which two chefs will go through to the savoury cook-off? The first chef through to the savoury cook-off is... It's Peter! Congratulations! <laughs> Peter, I, uh, I hope you weren't bluffing when you said you could make a great dish with those ingredients, but who will be joining you? It's Theo. Now off to the kitchen. Thank you. Let battle commence. So Peter's betting his reputation on sea bass sushi with a dill and watercress dressing. While Theo's combining Asian tofu and French roquefort into a novel Eurasian style fritter. Was he bluffing or can he really pull a culinary trick out of his sleeve? Step away from your plates, please, gentlemen. Your time is up. So, for the panel's savoury tasting treat today, we have Theo's tofu and rock four fritters. And Peter's sea bass sushi with a dill and watercress dressing. But which is the superior supper? So, Peter and Theo went head to head in the savoury round, but which of our chefs will win over the food poker panel with their creation. It's time for the tasting. Will it be Theo's fritters or Peter's sushi that impresses the panel? Okay, Jennifer, let's start with you. You've tried them both. What did you think? Um, the sea bass was delicious. It was really melt in the mouth. Okay, let's move on to you, Helen. What did you make of it? Okay, both lovely dishes, but the tofu, nice and sort of crispy, and having the rock four in it, really unusual combination, but lovely. John, what did you make of them? Uh, I thought the sea bass and the dill worked really well together. Uh, the dipping sauce, the chilli came through at the end, was really good. It's decision time. Write down the name of the chef that you want to see in the final on that piece of paper right there. 
So whose culinary creation left the panel hungry for more? Was it Peter's sea bass sushi with a dill and watercress dressing? Or Theo's tofu and rock four fritters? So, the winner of the savoury cook-off with a fantastic dish of... Rock four and tofu. Congratulations to Theo. The first chef moving to the showcase final. Peter, don't worry, you'll have another chance to make it through to the showcase final in the next round. Let's play the sweet round. Vote. Three chefs, all of them desperate to get into the kitchen and do their thing, but only two can make it through. Who will it be? Martin with his bananas and strawberries, Cloda with her coffee and chocolate trifle, or Peter with his unique compote tart of Brazil nuts, jam, raisins, coffee, and anything else he can find, as well as the kitchen sink. The first chef through to the sweet, sweet cook-off is... It's Cloda! Woo! Thank you! Congratulations! So, who will be joining Cloda? Will it be Martin? Or will it be Peter? Remember, if it's not Martin, he'll go home without having raised a pan in anger today. <laughs> joining Cloda... It is Martin! Thank you. Now he's off to the kitchen and let battle commence. So whose dish will prove to be the icing on the competition cake? Cloda's unique version of chocolate and coffee trifle? Or Martin's caramelised bananas and raisins with shortbread biscuits and strawberry sauce? <gasps> Tricky decision. So Cloda and Martin went head to head in the sweet round, but which of them will win over our food poker panel? It's time for the tasting. Away you go, get stuck in. Ah, <sighs> poor old Cloda's dying of embarrassment, but looks aren't everything. You've tried both the dishes. Okay, let's hear what you think. Cardamom and that chocolate was an absolutely amazing flavour together. They worked really, really well. The smell of the pastry was beautiful and the caramelised bananas cut beautifully into the pastry with the tanginess of the strawberry sauce. OK, it's decision time. Write down the name of the chef on the piece of paper that you want to see in the final. So who have they gone for? Cloda with her version of coffee and chocolate trifle or Martin's caramelised bananas and strawberry sauce? Well, the panel has voted, and I can reveal that one chef has five votes, and the other has two. So the winner of the sweet cook-off, with a mouth-watering dish of... Caramelised banana, strawberry and pastry stack, was Martin. Congratulations to him. He'll be competing against Theo in the showcase final. The winner of this round of food poker and today's champion, Mr. Martin Blunos. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Unprecedented. He folded thanks to Welks in the first round but came back to win. Thanks to all of our chefs for their delicious recipes. For more info on them, then go to bbc.co.uk forward slash food. Join us again for another few hands of food poker soon. Goodbye.